Friends of the Press, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have the distinguished honor to introduce and invite for special remarks our visionary president of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency Dr. George Mane Weir. Ladies and gentlemen, our president. Honorable Deputy Speaker Franti Kofa and members of the House of Representatives, the attending and members of the Cabinet, the Dwayne and members of the Diplomatic Corps, other officials of government here present, prelates and clergy, officials of Mount Gibi County, Honorable Nanwe, the Commissioner of Maritime Affairs, Mr. Avi Zandeberg, Chairman of the Board of LMTI, members of the Liberian Maritime Training Institute family, students and cadets of the Liberian Maritime Training Academy, members of the Fourth Estate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to visit with you once again. This time to witness the event commemorating the formal resumption of classes at the Training Academy of the Liberian Maritime Training Institute. After a protracted period of closure due to the COVID-19 virus. You will recall the last, the last time I was here was in September 2019, when I had the pleasure to attend the graduation of the first batch of the LMTR cadets in our national history, each of whom received an associate of science degree in marine engineering. We are so proud of their accomplishment and look forward with keen anticipation to the next series of graduations over the ensuing years. As the academy was expected to grow from strength to strength, Now that the COVID pandemic seems to be coming under control and with the proper health protocols in place and being observed, I am especially pleased to see that the training academy is now being reopened and that all of you in this new batch of cadets have returned to school healthy and doing well. More especially, I have observed that the grounds, buildings, machinery, and equipment of the campus remain up to date and have actually been improved. I am proud of these factors, and for this, I extend my thanks and appreciation to LISCA, our agent, and to the Liberian Maritime Authority for a job well done. Let me remind you all that the continuous operations of this institute is essential in the building of our country as a maritime nation. Today, it remains the first level of exposure for Liberians interested in maritime 
Stalin's. I have learned with satisfaction that the 24 cadets who graduated in 2017 are doing very well. By all counts, I am informed that they have all been successfully deployed in gainful employment relevant to their training. It's at the regional maritime university pursuing high degrees, now sitting on the Aminko vessels internationally, and serving the sun at the APM terminals. It is my understanding that all of them are performing excellently in their chosen path. To you cadets of today, you are our touch bearer. We will do our best to pave the way for you to succeed in the history of Marine for our country. And we will do our best for you to pour on the map. We listened to Honorable Namwe. He spoke about me being the only Ballon d'Or. Why not the first independent African state being the best maritime environment? <laughs> to the 24 of you who are resuming classes today, 20 males and four females, I'm sure that you know and appreciate the tremendous opportunity that you have been afforded. This campus where you reside is beautiful, has all the modern amenities and equipment, and the teaching techniques employ state-of-the-art 21st century technology. If you approach the academic assignments with diligence and determination, you should be graduating in less than a year. Let me admonish you not to take anything for granted. You should work and study very hard so that you will graduate on time. In that way, you will not only make Liberia proud when you go out, but you will also contribute immensely to the rebuilding of our country. I would like to take this opportunity to commend the proactive leadership of the Commissioner of Maritime Affairs since his recent appointment to help this the Bureau of Maritime Authority has demonstrated by his timely reopening of this training academy. This is the commendable initiative of Guadalupe, which is important for empowering youth and creating economic opportunity for Liberians and addresses one of the major objectives of our national development plan the Pro-Pro Agenda for Prosperity and Development. <laughs> the education and professional skills that are provided here at LMTR are essential to the development of our national workforce. I would also like to thank LISCA for its continuous support and commitment to this training academy, and for its efforts in facilitating employment with reputable local and international companies for its graduates. <laughs> My government will remain strongly committed to supporting the growth 
and development of the Liberia Maritime Training Institute through the Liberia Maritime Authority. Additionally, all of us here present have a duty to assist in whatever manner in upholding this institute. It is still the first and only level of exposure in the maritime industry for our youth and can bring us closer to the realization of becoming a maritime nation second to none. I thank you.